Let's do Chimps Mode on the new map, Covered Garden, but with a twist. A pretty common twist that I've seen people do is uh, simply beat Chimps without using the Covered Garden part at all. And uh, we're going to do just that, but also Black Border, so uh, do it all in one go. So the only boundaries or places we can use towers is uh, on the right side, which is only a thin strip for uh, small towers like Dart Monkey. Uh, or on the left side, and nothing else in here can be used. So that's why I got Sawdust to make the early game very easy. Because I think she solos even on a, a short straight line like this, right? Yeah, she beats round six. Now, I assume they left a bit of space here for farming. But the thing is, uh, they also allowed us to uh, kind of cheese the map with, yeah, infinite range towers. So with stuff like Ace and Heli can fit. And that's exactly what we're going to abuse. With the easy black order. I think after this, I want to go Sniper, maybe. Because it can shoot through into the covers. Like, if I put one here, it can turn into, like, a main mold after. Sounds good to me. Alright, so, uh, Sniper on first, I think. I don't know what I do, want to do after this, but... There is, uh, other, uh, infinite range quote unquote towers I'm thinking of. Like, maybe... The 130 Druid is always solid early game. And then, hell, maybe I could even go for a Spirit of Forest, if... I can save up that much money. But, yeah. Again, I'm thinking the Ace or the Heli. Probably Apache Prime. Yeah, let's commit to the Druid, because... Even if Balloons gets the exit, this can come in clutch once it targets, uh, you know, with a Vine attack. I kind of I kind of take back what I said earlier about Cover Garden. When I first did it on the first day of the update, I thought this map was pretty brutal. But yeah, once people get used to it, the the mechanic, and I guess seeing the uh, infinite range cheese on the left side, it's probably, yeah, an intermediate map. Not advanced like I initially thought it was. If they did remove the uh, sides, though, I would wager it uh, potentially being difficult enough for advance. Also, could you, could you guys imagine a race on this map? It might happen, because Contested Territory randomizes maps, right? And I think all intermediates are included. Like, the thing with the race here is that you can't even follow a guide, because uh, you won't have time to upgrade your tower. So, uh, that will definitely be a, a fun one, if that ever comes out officially, or unofficially in CT. Now, you want 130 because they removed the lead popping with 230. And now we're good till 24. Or, actually, I don't know what round, but what next? I think maybe Heli, so that we can just get general level stuff in case things leak. So let me strategically place Heli here so that I can place a village right below it so that I can buff Sada, as well as put a bunch of other towers in range of the village too to buff them. And give it camo. Because yeah, I'll be at 5-0 you to a prime. So basically, a village over here. And then we'll buy a bigger radius. So I won't be using discounts. Just because I uh, will probably want a mib on my a prime. So that it pops DTs. What other defense do you think I need before going for it? the Apache Dart Chip? Once I afford that, the mid game is super easy. But until then, I might need a bit more defense. Maybe an out buff. Jungle drops. The buff Sada. Uh, here's a mop, by the way. Let me wait for it to pop. And then use the sword. Come on. Sword. Nice. Easy. Okay, Sada can be rainbows. That's nice. Up. Oh. Rip that camo, uh, blue. We might be able to straight to go for this. This Druid's OP. Do the buff rotas make any difference on the Apache Prime? Probably not, but it's, I guess, nice to have. I did forget to mention that, yeah. Uh, they buffed the Razor Rotor's damage on the A Prime. And the dark ship, so uh, that'll help us marginally. Probably not going to be a difference maker. I think after you beat the Saran Wave at 49, we can afford it. Granted, it's pretty tight. So let me use the ability now. Uh, got it. Not so bad. So now that we can beat the next 30 rounds solo, yeah. Uh, do you think we just save for Apache Prime after buying uh, Jungle Drums and Camo? Yeah, I gotta say for the, the easy chimp skip maps, or even intermediate, Apache Prime is just so free. Or it's ra rather one of the easier strategies out there, because it's just two break points. Once you're able to afford Apache, you're likely able to afford Apache Prime, again, on an easier map. And then after that, you just get support him, and then easy win. We can save up for a Prime at this rate, right? I could just do an out buff to make things a bit easier. I really just want to buy Speed of Force for the funsies, for the fun factor. Not yet, though. I mean, if you're gonna afford it after A-Prime, that is. 
Oh, right, I need to buy camo for the Spear of the Forest, because the main attack doesn't doesn't work on it. I just realized. Yeah, maybe I should have put the village a little bit lower. Whoops. I think 75 will push, push on us a little bit, so... Uh, should I use Sawed ability? Let's use one Leaping Sword over here. Just to make things a bit easier. Um... Come on. Wait, are you, okay. I thought it was it wasn't gonna be be there. It might not though. Still, okay, we're good. There's three BFBs here. I might have to use Sada, uh, level ten. I might have to actually. Yeah. The thing is, it could get seventy six if I kill seventy five. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Or do I have to? No, no, I'm good. Never mind. Let's just do this to be safe. No chance taken. All right, angry Fort Apache Prime. Next round. As I said, easy save up on an intermediate map. So I can buy this in the middle of the Saram wave, nice. So again, for fun factor, I really want to go for the Spear of the Forest, because, uh, well, not this update, but previous updates, it got buffed so that the main attack does good damage too. But yeah, just a fun, a fun little combo. Granted, I'll get it pretty late, so I won't have good money for support and I'll probably get wrecked to DTs. But, might as well try, right? Since we're here to have some fun. I think before this is like in the early 90s, yikes. I'm not buying this, by the way, just in case I change my mind. So, right now, I need about $43,000. So, uh, early 90s, I can afford it. That should give me enough time to uh, get DT damage. Because, yeah, these two destroy balloons. We know that. It's just the Dark Dirigible Titans. Just to be safe, I should buy by mid first. Nah, it's $8,000. We'll just rely on Sada abilities to beat DDTs for now. Oh, actually, better than expected. 88 round, uh, round 88 by, so yeah, that's good. Now, since the main attack doesn't have camera protection, I need to buy another village. I should have put this a little bit lower, but I didn't think that far ahead in time. Here's 90, by the way. Look how bad these two towers are. Oh my god, that's pathetic. Can I avoid this in, uh, three rounds? Gotta love how they still have the ability highlighted. But I can't use it. There's no money. Alright, so Mib. And let me outbuff the A-Prime. That's a no-brainer. You want a tier 4? Here are DTs now, within, uh, a, a Mib. Better, but still not trivial, so... Yeah, one more round to get support towers. Let's do Village here. Uh, Camo? Also 2 tier, yeah. And we should probably pop less buff these Spear of the Forest. But before then, I want to try to save for a main Moab. It's kind of dangerous not having any support this round. But trust me, we're fine. Famous last words. Nah, not famous last words. See how easy it is? Now that we got mid and out buff. Main Moab. 4 2 0. Oh. And now we can freely pop less spam. I'm not even going to cross path the pop less because they're so weak. Anyway, so yeah, we're just doing that for attack speed on the uh, main attack, by the way. 346k damage is pretty pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not too worried this round, which is why I'm gonna fast forward. Uh, maybe I should take it off Pursuit. Yeah, yeah, because we don't need to chase Ceramics, right? Because the uh, Spear of the Forest does that for us. Uh, pretty unreliably. Maybe uh, I'm a bit too overconfident here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die because I'm too overconfident. S Sada. Oof, okay. Sada clutch. Sada clutch. I'm definitely getting a bit overconfident here. Before it's too late, I'm gonna get a Moab glue. I didn't mean to buy Relentless. I had too much money. I'm trolling here, but that's fine. We can still win. Trust me. Oof. Living on the edge here, folks. But yeah, that's an easy black border. I say easy with a couple close calls, but... Eh. A win's a win. Wait, do I have enough bad damage here? Uh... Wait a minute. Yeah, I should be fine here. The main mob will uh, stun the DTs for a brief moment to help us out. If it pops in time. Like that. Okay. Okay, we're, we're definitely being a bit cocky. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have a stun here. I, I'm actually going to troll this, aren't I? For buying Spear of the Forest. Nope. We had that in the bag the entire time. All right, GG. Just for an encore, because that was so easy. Let's see how long this defense can last. But yeah, just looking at that, uh, probably not a good idea to have gone for Spirit Forest. 
wasn't as good as I thought. The thing is, as you see from the vines, uh, this does more damage. The vines back here do less. I would bet, yeah, 102 is probably gonna be a rough round. Lots of DTs. Yeah, this is gonna be spooky. Let's do some Straylin action. Oh. oh, that was close. Saw so this coming clutch like three times I've come so far. Perhaps I might need a down draft. Yeah, that would be really good. I guess I could get it above the up off. Because, like, right now you see the Srams are the biggest issue. I'm dead here. Okay, I'm chasing badly. Well, <laughs> I probably could have retried tried that round to win, but yeah, that wasn't uh, the main goal. We still got the main goal, anyways. GG's. Not gonna lie there. Uh, without close I was, the Razor Road buff might have made a a very slight difference there. But pop check, pop count check, one before a million, 500k, 290. But even though it's a little bit of pops, she did come in clutch for us, so yeah. Let's just go over here to verify. Indeed. That is our 49th plant border, I believe. Yes, it is.